I'm, I'm going to take try. every set to failure for four weeks in a row. Train or die. Tra fuck. <laughs> yeah, nobody Good. actually does that. Nobody. Fuck. Nobody does that. I promise. Except for. Uh, and if you and if you think you do, please come to Michigan and we will put you through four weeks of that specifically. <laughs> Dr. Mike here. This is Jared Feather. He is the Renaissance Periodization Head of Competitive Physique Coaching. Mm -hmm. And he's usually on private planes with billionaires, diamond mines. That's the kind of places he frequents because he's upper crust. While your boy's down here in a basement mm -hmm. studio making videos for you to get educated. But one of his private planes crashed and he, of course, literally came out with a golden parachute. Yeah. Landed in our yard. Unfortunately. We zipped him in. Here he is. Mm -hmm. Jared, recently you've been a go-to guy as a coach and helper to a lot of IFBB pros and other super high level oh, cool. bodybuilders. Pretty recent for you. Yeah, yeah. I saw it happen myself. Uh, as soon as you won um, nationals and, and your pro card, motherfucking pros just came out of the woodwork. It's like, yeah, is that like a tree, tree, tree? And the nationals happens like that middle person's not a tree at all. That's an <laughs> IFBB pro that's now walking over to us to ask oh Jared. Hey, what about this peak? So it's a mystical thing. Like, what do the pros do? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, let's be honest. I'm mystified by the shit. You guys watching are mystified by it. It's like, I wonder what they're doing. What has been some of your experience recently as like expectation versus reality type shit? The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. Uh, uh, first, I'll do the good. <laughs> Obviously. No, 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 no. We do the bad first. Well, the good is so you have no idea how to make a fucking compliment sandwich. You're out of your mind. Yeah, I'll try a compliment sandwich. You they don't train hard. What's that? They, they like to train hard. Oh, the sandwich. They like pros like to train hard. Sometimes they fail miserably at training hard. At training hard. But they give their best effort. Damn. It's kind of a compliment it's sandwich. It's tasty. Right? Oh, it's fine. How'd that taste? Amazing. Like ketchup sandwich. Oh. Delicious. Ketchup sandwiches are things that destitute people eat. <laughs> Mentally destitute. Uh, okay. So let's talk about this. Okay. So a lot of guys say the pros train super hard. It's mm -hmm. almost certainly true for a ton of pros. Sure. But is it a universal rule we can kind of depend on? So for example, I meet a lawyer. I assume he knows the law generally. Right. It's a dependable mm -hmm. rule. Um, if I meet a mathematician, I assume my fucking can count to 10. <laughs> if I meet an IFB pro, is he for sure just on another level of hard training or is it a mixed bag? Okay, so IFBB Pro <laughs> insinuates some level of enhancement. And with what I've experienced and what I've just noticed, even growing through the natural stages of bodybuilding and following a lot of these guys, uh, the enhancement does a lot more than uh, anything else they're doing. And the genetics. And the genetics. Enhancement and genetics. That's all. That is, that is I'm going to just put 80% to it. 80% of bodybuilding is that. At the IFBB Plus event. just training somehow. Training somehow. And it's eating like, lots so of So when someone says that, well, so-and-so did this, I'm like, yeah, so they fucking, they trained with weights. Awesome. And then they took anabolics. So they're getting Fantastic. credit for training somehow with right. weights, but they're not getting any special credit. Like basically what you're saying is if you look up to pros and you're a fucking hard training natty right. who weighs 160, you may very well be training harder than your favorite pros. And not just that, you may as well be training too hard. Like... Because it is often that they will post like a short clip of, let's say, like somebody taking an eight plate deadlift for three reps, four reps, five reps, whatever it may be. And then the rest of the session is like, let's say they did that at the beginning of their back session for whatever fucking reason, because they all like to do that. Um, the rest of the session is like lat pull downs with six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the tank, uh, rows with swinging, crazy jerking motions with like 10 in the tank. And it's like people try to top this thing where, yeah, well, all my favorite pros take everything to failure. And I've honestly never in my fucking life seen that ever. I've You've been never training seen with that. pros for a while now. A long time. Yeah. Even before I was even in, in real life. Yeah. I've never seen an, a true full session. Everything was to failure. Every working set to every failure. Every working set to failure and beyond type of session. It's like this person started off doing incline bench and they ended up doing 
some sort of weird flat press by the end because their ass was so far off the seat because they're focused on getting too many reps. It's like, did they ever take their upper pec fibers to failure? I have no fucking idea. It just kind of got hard and they started shifting things around. So it's like, I've never seen a true technical failure session through the entire thing and anything done past like 10, 12 working sets in one session was always just bullshit fluff. Curling like this and like swinging it and then like tricep extensions where they're going like this and they just stop. It's like, yeah, great. Okay, this is pretty light. And they have like 15 left. And they, I don't know where it's just like they're done. One time I saw a pro warming up. I won't say who this is. I've seen this on a few occasions. I was, you know what I'm saying. I peeped the scene. I, I, I fuck from shit. far. I was just doing my own shit. And then I look at them. And I swear to God, this I thought this motherfucker was warming up for 45 minutes straight. And then he just leaves. And yeah. I was like, oh, that was workout. Yeah. Stop. I've seen that frequently. <laughs> uh, so I've been very fortunate to be around top pros as a recent. And I will tell you, they train f- hard as shit. Like they train hard. Um, but it's cool because the more that I see even people that we maybe disagree with on like a large fraction of information. So like I'm going to say like JP, for example, even if we disagree with him on a lot of shit, he's like out there, a huge guy totting two in the tank one in the tank, hard, two hard sets in the beginning of the session, back off sets, things that we generally agree with. Yeah. And a lot of the pros start taking that that sort of nuanced approach, way more nuanced than what they were doing before. Yeah, much and at reason. least they're leaving reps in the tank and they're training really hard. They're trying to get close to failure. They're taking back off sets when they need to instead of trying to do like five sets of the same weight. Right. It's, it's very cool because – it used to be like a reverse pyramid style of training where everyone was like, I did 12 reps with 135, then I went to 145, then I did 185, then I did 25. I like to do low, it's like, low reps when I'm tired, so it's yeah, totally pointless. Exactly. And then at least there are people like JP out there and John Jewett's out there uh, saying similar things that we are with leaving reps in the tank and here's periodization, here's how it works, here's a model. John Jewett's a good guy to follow. Amazing. Yeah. Follow John Jewett, 100%. Um, so they're at least saying like, look – do your heavy shit first, take the fibers pretty close to failure, and then you can do some back off work. And even if their back off work is complete garbage and they're still training how they used to train and they're leaving like six in the tank, one, they're enhanced. <laughs> Two, they did pretty hard work in the beginning of the session, so that's great. Uh, and three, they just don't have like the prerequisite knowledge to understand like, okay, we're starting to see that anything much past 10 sets in a single session is kind of like, meh, you're not right. really doing much after that. Right. These are like really, these are things that we now have to push th- that type of information out there. Like at least reps and reserve and relative intensity and those types of things are getting, they're getting more and more popularized by people. And now it's just like slowly integrating more and more sports science because, you know, these guys have been right about a lot of shit for a long time. The bros, they've been right about a lot of shit, science. Sometimes it's to catch up. Sometimes it disproves things they've been saying completely. So they've been wrong about some shit too. Oh, tons of shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. So like, you know, people who are saying every set needs to be taken to failure, that's just flat out fucking wrong, especially from a stimulus fatigue ratio perspective. But it feels tr- in my ego that I need to prove to myself I right. can do it. 100%. And then they still don't do it. Right. But at least I'm, I'm going to take try. every set to failure for four weeks in a row. Train or die Good trying. fucking luck. <laughs> yeah. Nobody Good. actually does that. Nobody does it. Nobody it. does that. I promise. Except for... Uh, and if, you, and if you think you do, please come to Michigan and we will put you through four weeks of that specifically. <laughs> Just you know that. I'm saying? You could live down Every the street. Every set of failure. <laughs> you won't be alive down the street for much no, longer. No, fuck no. It doesn't happen. It's not a thing. It's a big waiver it's you're not signing. not a thing. Huge waiver. <laughs> Huge waiver. <laughs> All right. That's training. What about diet? Are these guys uh, counting everything to the gram, milligram? <laughs> you know they're counting milligrams. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if they're doing that, to be honest. True. Damn. That looks like two to me. Three. Eight. Whatever. Same shit. It's bad news. None of this is really a joke. No, none of this is a joke at all. All right. Diet. How serious are the pros in your experience? Uh, I've met more guys that cheat on their diet than don't. I mean, like, when you're, when you're that insanely strict with stuff and, and like, coaches ingrained this weird level of neuroticism that doesn't need to be there, uh, you crack more. It's just a thing. You're just going to crack more on your diet. It's, it's difficult to – Prep six, seven meals a day. Make sure that you're eating exactly oatmeal and exactly rice in this one and exactly steak in this one. And it's like, it's just, it's crazy to see that these types of structures of diets, especially when it's illegal to fucking do that in the first place. The what only mean, person. Illegal, uh, uh, trap boy. Ex- uh, precise food content. Or Eat this, then this, then this exact food. Exact foods. Uh, telling someone to do that is technically illegal. And if you're a registered dietitian, you're the only person that has power to do that. Only an RD. 
So, John Jewett, keep doing your thing, man. Everybody else, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Oops, you're not John Jewett. You don't have an RD. <laughs> right. So, it's like... Um, so, you don't tell people what to eat exactly. No, no way in hell. Yeah, no. There's a there's a list of foods that fit into a, a certain amount of each kind of nutrient. So, macro coaching, quote unquote, is fine. fine. I take it a little bit further than that. And I'm like, hey, you should have this about this much... Uh, this many ounces of meat here. You should have about this many grams of carbohydrates here and this much fat here. And here's a list of all the types of foods that fit into these columns. Pick and choose. Right. And if you, and there's a huge questionnaire. It's like, if you have any sort of condition you know about celiacs, et cetera, obviously tell me before we get started, I'll push you to an RD. Or if it's something I'm able to work with, I'm going to take those foods out that irritate yeah. whatever your whatever your condition is. I have a condition where if I don't eat enough gluten, I get sad. Yeah, me too, man. Pizza. Yeah, unfortunately, deep into the diet. It's just, I'm taking it out, man. I lie to It'll you. help you up here. I cheat all the time. <laughs> I know a lot of people do. I wake up in the middle of the night to cheat. Great. I will say that the, I'm impressed by how much some of these guys can eat. Oh, they can eat a lot? The yeah. pros? Andy impresses me all the time. Wow. Andy's a big motherfucker. Yeah. I, I coach a 300-pound guy. He's coming back from like a, a bunch of injuries and stuff. Uh, he doesn't look injured now. Yeah, he's doing great. How much does he eat? He told me about his diet once, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, it's it's insane. Like it's, daily, the grind of he's food dieting. Goes through is nuts. He's dieting. He's three hundred pounds. He's eating like six hundred grams of carbs right now, and he's losing two pounds a fucking day. He's like, "I'm telling my telling my coach I got to eat more, man." I'm like, "Yeah, tell him." Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just like, Jesus Christ. So your your take has been that pros generally do things more correctly than the average gym person. Absolutely. Um, and the more winning pros are more meticulous, mm -hmm. like John Jewett. Mm -hmm. But most of the guys are doing a good job, but there's a spectrum. Mm -hmm. And then some of the guys really just kind of fuck up a lot, yeah. but genetics and drugs carry 100%. the day. Uh, and then some guys are super precise and they generally tend to win so, some fractionally more, but right. not like night and day. Yeah. When you, when you, when, again, using John as an example, he's a fucking amazing example. When he's going against people like Keon and, and Sean, uh -huh. people with insane genetics for like muscle bellies. And He's got to bring that precision. He has to bring that. It's like he, John is the natural kid sitting behind the computer that has pretty good shape and does everything fucking right. Yeah. That shows up to natural shows in the best shape ever. And he beats out the guys with, with like good shape, like muscle shape. Right. He's that guy sorry. for the enhanced side of bodybuilding. Damn. He's fucking amazing. Meticulous. Very meticulous. So if you take somebody with great muscle building shape. And they can get conditioned and they're very nuanced and they're very meticulous. Someone like myself or Charlie, you're winning. This is how it is. <laughs> I'm certainly an example of amazing <laughs> muscle shape. I look like a toaster, I've been told at bodybuilding shows. <laughs> you actually have great shape when very you get Very muscular. You just got to get rid of the water. That's what I tell myself every day. <laughs> well, you're, that, like a, you're like a Hollings head. The shed. The Yeah, you got that hauling said muscle similar like, shape yeah 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 he's big he's ass a, chest huge delts it's like really round yeah, yeah he looks cool man he can look cool i wish i could talk like him because i imagine he's like oh you fucking fox you fucking british that sounds more like a diasha type of yeah <laughs> i need to work on my british accents if you're from england or the surrounding municipalities let me know how my accent was if you're from missouri your old boy did it he's famous and he's from missouri if you really don't have a draw, not burp, much. Burp, 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 burp. Can you derp a lerp? Yeah, of course. Uh, say, hello, sir. That's a fine truck you have, but in derp. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can change the words. I just, yeah, of course, I'm going to. Right. Nobody says, <laughs> how many humans that thing got, man? Goddamn, double goddamn injection engine over there, boy. Dad, tell you what. <laughs> All right, dog, gobbit. We'll catch you guys later. Oh, jeez.